war never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Our founding fathers could only see us now. What's up? Tinky230 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome back to the monthly series, What Are You Playing This Month? Where I ask you what you'll be playing in the next 30 or so days. I can't believe it's November already. Halloween has passed, Thanksgiving is coming up, and Christmas isn't too far away. With the holiday season underway, there's a ton of games for everyone. Let's begin. I'm still on the fence about Fallout 76 and its multiplayer focused outing. Granted, I haven't played the beta, but I've read some articles on how the beta went for folks who participated. While the ones I've read range from being okay to being a bit more positive, there are thoughts that still linger for me. I'm so used to Fallout being a single player experience that I feel like whatever narrative it has will suffer a bit. On the other hand, playing with friends and exploring West Virginia together in the Fallout universe is enticing. As a gamer who enjoys exploring open worlds, it's another playground for me to discover the world as it opens up as I go. And again on the flip side, there are no NPCs in this game, and besides some robots hanging around, so in that sense, if you decide to play solo, it could be a lonely experience, unless that's your sort of thing. You know, there are questions, but overall I feel like it's intriguing enough to at least give it a try. In the back of my mind, I'm hoping that it'll still feel like a deep experience, carving its own branch from Bethesda's Fallout formula. I'm tentatively excited. It's out officially November 14th. Itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Pushed beyond any known breaking point. We discover what we are capable of. The last Battlefield game I played was Battlefield 4, and during that initial PC launch, it had its problems, especially disconnections. After all got patched numerous times throughout that year, I already stopped playing it, partly due to my friends not playing it either. Since then, I've been kinda hankering to play a multiplayer shooter to be mediocre in. Sure, I'll have my good days, but I'm mostly on par or below. I've always geared myself more toward Battlefield, but I've enjoyed the times I had with Call of Duty back in the day. I don't really have a preference whether the setting takes place in World War I, World War II, or modern times. As long as the gameplay is great and I'm having a good time, that's all that matters. And the Battlefield series has provided that for me with Battlefield 3, 4, and Bad Company 2. Hopefully, whatever needed tweaking since the Battlefield 5 beta happened are being focused on, and I hope it ends up being a great multiplayer game. It's out November 20th. For a while, it seemed like we wouldn't be getting a new Hitman game, especially after Square Enix broke off with IO Interactive. While they've had to lay off some people, which sucks, it was the only way for Hitman to survive. It's a game that I tried playing back in the day with weirdly Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, before I really tried to understand stealth. As I got older and got better at stealth, did Hitman Blood Money arrive, and that was a transcendent experience for me. I finally understood the subterfuge involved, creating places where I could manipulate and eventually assassinate the intended target and or targets being a shadow. And that made Blood Money one of my most favorite games. I have the previous Hitman, the episodic one, and I got to part 8 of the series before I just got busy, but I hope to get back into it once more. I definitely want to get Hitman 2, but I'm still deciding if it's a release date purchase or not. In any case, it's out November 13th. No one's untouchable. Do you even know where you are? With the Darksiders series, my friend actually purchased the game for me for my birthday a while ago after sneakily asking me, out of these three games, which one would I recommend to him? As you can tell, it was a ruse, and hours later, 
he handed me the original Darksiders. After playing a bit, my friend had already beaten the game and I kind of struggled to get into it. I tried two more times, starting over each time on the PS3 and a fourth time buying the definitive version on the Xbox One. I got a lot farther with that, but I still stopped. When Darksiders 2 arrived, I liked it a lot more personally. I liked Death's agility and the Prince of Persia-esque wall climbing, but it couldn't hold my interest either. Am I destined to like the Darksiders series but never finish them? And Darksiders 3 appeals to me even more, but I feel like should I even play this after losing interest in the past two? I like everything I've seen of it, but based on my experience, I might need to hold off until it's cheaper. For those of you who do decide to pick it up, let me know how it is. It's out November 27th. We were so many things. Husbands and wives, doctors and teachers, writers and architects. But when the world ended, all that ended too. The beta for Overkill's The Walking Dead has passed recently, and after reading some thoughts on the Steam forums, it sounds like it'll be generally difficult, but if you have a good group of friends, it could be a damn good time. The developer isn't new to co-op games, developing the Payday series, so the mindset is there to create a sweet The Walking Dead experience. Honestly, I haven't kept up to date on the information regarding the game, but I feel confident that Overkill can fully envelop the character in its zombified world. It's out on PC November 6th. I just wanted to put this here because it's Katamari Damacy. I skipped the game because uh, it looked ridiculous when I was younger, but as my tastes have grown, I realized I should have given it a try. It's a silly ass looking game, but it's just flat out fun. Katamari Damacy Reroll is out November 30th. So for my end, it's going to be a whole lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll try to mix in some random episodes here and there, different games to break up this probably two month long Let's Play. So with all that behind us, let me turn my head toward you all and ask, what are you playing this month? That's going to be it for this episode. List of games is down below in the description. As always, some games could still get delayed. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take it to 30 out. Right, y'all. Come on, everybody. Keep smiling. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you next month. Roll it till you reach the stars anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy Reroll will launch winter 2018.